Gina, that was rough. Uh, I just, in the process, the process was like two hours total. Writing the song, getting it all worked out, setting up everything, getting the drums set up. It was just bang, bang. It wasn't meant to be a high-end production of a Music Monday. Obviously, we're bringing Music Monday back. And what I really need to do is set up like a full-time studio that's just set. I can come in, I can bang stuff out, especially if I'm going to bring Music Monday back like I'm thinking I'm going to. I just got to get something set up. Big shout out to all our folks on Patreon. Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to the video. It's been a, it's a rough one. I got I got my friend visiting from Hawaii. She'll, you'll see her in the next video. And just got the clutch hatching out. The reference, I put all the lyrics down there so you could easily read them, but the reference of the ALS, you know, I got that out of Kevin McCurley's book, the Acts Like Super thing. And yeah, this month, this season, actually, I didn't label any of my clutches like I usually do just for fun just to like see if i can tell which is which and i know you know based on the pairings like we've got one from a super fire we've got this clutch here this from our purple passion girl so everything's going to be at least mojave or phantom so based on the different pairings that i have going i know that i should be able to tell what the pairings were based on the snakes that come out of the eggs i just thought it would be fun and also maybe i, I just got a little lazy on labeling too but knowing that i'd be able to tell regardless um which what the parents were based on the snakes that came out. It was fun, a little fun project for myself. Shout out to the Patreon folks because I had this level set on there for a while that was, you know, when we get to this level, which we've gotten to, and then we kind of bounce like right at it and then we drop below a goal, a goal that we hit and we got there, which when we hit that goal, it was to do regular traveling to film Triple B TV, which we've done and we're doing. My next goal is gonna, I'm gonna hit a thing and as soon as we hit that, I'm gonna set up a dedicated studio so I can just start banging stuff out like a madman. And because the setup time, like I say, the two hour process of recording all that stuff, like that was just the recording part. Like over half of that, it was getting stuff set up, breaking stuff back down. I feel like my productivity level will just go skyrocketing if I got a dedicated studio space to record. It'll just like, I'm gonna just bang stuff out like you wouldn't believe. Let's get into the snakes. You wanna see the snakes? 
So let's start out with the only male, and that's this dude right here, Coral Glow, either Mojave or Phantom, and all these are gonna be 100% het pied, and the rest are gonna be females, because that's the way it works with a male maker Coral Glow. And sure enough, Peeny Peeny McPeenerton. See all those little peens sticking out right there? Yeah, Peeny Life, that's peen life. That's weenie life, weenie life. Once they shed out, I will differentiate which are Phantom, which are Mojave. For now, I'm just gonna look at the distinctive features on the rest of the girls over here, which we got plenty. This is snake number one, male, coral glow, 100% het pied, Phantom or Mojave. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this one's a Mojave, and we'll, we'll check back later when it sheds out, but and this should be a girl. If everything, if everything I said was correct, then if you follow the lyrics along in the song, then this right here should be a girly, girly McGirlerton. And sure enough, yep, no peens in there. That's a girl. Where you going, Missy? They're not even rinsed off. They still got their egg muss on them. Let's take a look here. Let's see if I can find an extremely distinctive characteristic. Because you got the head pied influence playing into there. So you got the, the tracking, the tracking that's gonna be going along the back end of the snake. It's gonna be there. You see these long tracks going down the side. Yep, that's gonna be there on probably most of these. For me, distinctive features always tend to be things like faces coming up, but this is a weird one right here. On the back end of the tail, you got this little triple mountain action coming up on the from the belly, and then those two little hooks on top. They're like little U's. It's like a little face staring at you. And that's just, that's what stands out to me right there, is on the back end, that right there. So that'll be the distinctive characteristic of female uh, number one. Female number two, I think, is more of a phantom look. You got a little bit more slight busyness going on inside the meat of the alien heads and a little darker thick thickness around the alien heads, that black. Um, but again, I'm gonna wait till they shed to make a, a final determination. But for now, just look for that distinctive characteristic. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put her back. This is gonna be female six, and I'll show you why when we get to number six. This one looks a little more Mojave to me based on the blushing and everything, but Again, I shouldn't I shouldn't even call it yet because we're gonna wait till we make that official distinction. Oh, and that's a boy. Okay. So I need to go back to the drawing board and think about why I'm wrong. I guess that happens. Every now there's a chance that the that the male maker gene jumps across. Why would this be a boy? Oh, why would it pee all over me? These are all great questions, aren't they? Okay, so that's a boy. What am I doing? Okay, now we're gonna jump around. This one is a female. I'm gonna call her 6A because got right there, 6, 6A. That's why. Now go ahead, jump down in the comments down below. Let me know what I'm doing wrong here with my brain. Come on, don't be afraid, don't be bashful. I'm sure there's plenty out here that are a lot smarter than me more well-spoken than me, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments, come on. Let Brian have it. What, what has he done wrong here? What is going on? Why did I think that the coral glows would be males and then the rest would be females? Why did I think that? What did I do wrong? I did something wrong, obviously, because one of the non-coral glows is a male. And I do know that it jumps from every now and then, but anyway, leave a comment down below. I, I need you guys' help, clearly. Okay, now this one's a female and a phantom. Look at how heavy and black the tracking is on the belly there. That is really cool looking, especially around right there at the end of the tail. Super nice, super nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I like you a lot. And then you got this like weird white speckling coming up inside of the blushing in between the alien heads. That's also really awesome. Super cool. Super awesome. And another non-coral glow male. I really don't know what I did wrong with my brain on this one. I think the song took it out of me. I don't know what's going on, guys. Leave a comment down below. What's happening right now? What a, what a, what's going on? This is part of showing all the mistakes. It's not just about, it's about brain mistakes too. You know, we, we're here to learn. We're not here to teach. Okay, we're here to teach a little bit. It's a 50-50. We're half here to teach, half here to learn. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. You tired of people always trying to claim they're perfect? Me too. Can't stand it. That's not me. 
I ain't perfect. I got so many flaws. So many flaws. And they're great. Like the flaw, like the all the crazy stuff that's happening upstairs right now, making the audio flawed on this video. Look at the heavy black coming off of this snake though. The heavy black that's going around all the alien heads. Freaking sweet, dude. All right, I'm gonna go pound my head against the table for a little bit and figure out what is going wrong with my brain. And in the meantime, go beat my brain in the comments as well. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Music Monday with snakes and this clutch that is what I thought was a very good sex ratio. Now it seems to be kind of 50-50. 50-50. What could go wrong? 50-50. You guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on Wednesday for Cusco Uncut. Bye. Aloha.